Hey guys, I'm staying one night at the address Dubai Mall and it's really quiet and the light is great here so I decided to update my video about how I do my makeup. Uh, this is my makeup that I do every day, almost like some days I don't really do makeup and uh, my main feature when I do makeup is to add a little bit of color uh, to my face. I don't like it so much on my eyes, I usually add a little bit on my cheeks, on my lips and to add a little bit of glow um, because I'm really like monotone, like dark hair, dark eyes and I find that um, this really works, like very few products. If you're interested to find out more, keep watching. <laughs> Here are all of the products that I'm using and everything is very small and fits into my travel or makeup organizer. My skin is clean and I just had a shower and blow dried my hair slightly. Um, so um, I put some lotion before I had this Hada Labo Tokyo Moisting Serum for no particular reason. I love it because it's just uh, giving me this extra moisture and it's very light. Um, I also sometimes use this but my one tip on skincare is that you don't always need to use so many products and um, I noticed my skin is a bit uh, prone to acne and also prone to dryness at some points but when I don't scrub it too much, when I don't clean it too hard it's, uh, it's much better at balancing itself and I usually use very little moisturizers and lotions at the moment um, I don't use any specific eye creams because I just don't want, like to have too many products. I find that having one skin oil and using a little bit here and there is always uh, better and a bit more convenient. And now I'm just starting with my Herborean CC cream. Sometimes I do mix it with uh, with one Becca product, which is a highlighter. I um, use that highlighter when I need a bit more glow. And um, sometimes I do have um, a little bit of spots here and there. I don't see so many of them today. Uh, maybe just one here. And uh, this concealer is just from H&M. I just randomly went there and there were so many beauty products and everything was really good, well priced. And I'm not doing so much research about beauty products, I'm really easy going. I just have to like the packaging. I like the packaging because it's black. I found the price suitable and I really needed something like a concealer. And I think it's a really great product. But then I uh, one of I use one of these uh, liquid um, contouring bronzers. It's one tip that my friend slash makeup artist I took a lesson recently to just uh, like update uh, my. Um, beauty routine a little bit and she said that um, everyone's using something like a liquid bronzer or cream bronzer uh, many of them are really popular right now especially the Chanel ones and this one is from Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> it does have a little like obligator here but George beat it off and so I just uh, put it, uh, a little bit of it on my finger and you also have to close it. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury and it's uh, it's quite um, like dark, it's called like fair medium but it does seem quite dark. It's uh, like a little bit liquidish uh, texture, it does have a little bit of glow and I'm just using a little bit to put um, on the sides of my cheeks. Um, some people do use it on their nose. My nose is not so big, so I'm not using it as much. And you can put a little bit here to just pretend that you have just been out on a beach or you just came from the beach holiday. And to really blend it well, you need one of these brushes or you need a beauty blender. And if you work it through and kind of blend it even in so deep into your hairline it does look really natural you can totally skip this step i don't do it all the time i usually just use like a normal bb cream but i just pick the one that is a bit more glowy on a darker side because that's what works for me and my other most important product that i think is life-changing especially 
if you have similar physique like not so much color like my eyes and hair are the same color and um, to just brighten things up you really need to use nice blush and add a little lip color to your lips um, now I'm just gonna do my brows I also have the Charlotte Tilbury product which I think the shade is called Supermodel it's a uh, medium medium to dark it has a little brush that is really really cute and I just brush it upwards if you just want a little lift to your brows and a little color it's totally sufficient to just use this one product and you can't not it's really foolproof, you can't really mess it up even if, you're, if your hands are so bad like mine I do also have another uh, of their products Yeah, I just took it for the sake of showing you but um, it also have a brush and it has a little trio uh, This one had a pencil, it's gone now because my baby played with it and then uh, it has a little uh, like glowing uh, eyeshadow uh, Sometimes I would use it um, under my brow but it's totally up to you, it's not like really necessary step either so the, the one that makes most difference for me is the blush um, currently I have purchased this Jolly Brush Cheeky Pink from, from Claron previously I always used um, Bobbi Brown Coral I had it for years, it's just like the packaging was a bit old and I just felt like trashing all of my beauty products and upgrading to the new ones I think you don't see it so well because of the light but it actually instantly brightens up everything oh, my tip for the blush just put it on the rounds of your cheeks and yeah especially if you do filming photos sometimes it might seem like too much but uh, you cannot go wrong especially with such light color now to define my eyes a bit more i'm gonna use the maybelline mascara i tried many different ones i think this one is the best i have the yellow one it's not as nice and sometimes i like to use this pencil i got it like some time ago um uh, also maybelline new york the nudes collection drama basically it's a metallic bronze color that's really complementing to my eye and this time around i didn't take any eyeshadow with me so i'll just go through and um, i do have a low contrast and uh, i find that uh, eyeliners don't work so well for me instead i would use a uh, brown type pencil but very soft you don't want to uh, have really strong lines because i think for some people like me, it does make me even look older when I have like too much eye makeup uh, done So I just try to keep it light and glowy and like supernatural I still get a lot of compliments that I look younger I think if you uh, don't overdo your makeup, you might have a similar effect And if you can even blend it a bit with your fingers Sometimes I do always put some um, some of the bronzer product as my eyeshadow today we're gonna skip this step because i didn't bring it with me and i'm just gonna do my eyelashes and um, if you know the correct way to do eyelashes application is when you put a little bit on uh, the bottom part and then brush it through upwards i find that this type of brush works wonders for me it's like a plastic type of silicone brush the yellow one that's like more fluffy it doesn't work so well for me i always have a mess on my lids when i use it uh, but this one is really nice i don't do my lower eyeshadow i uh, mascara i mean my lower lashes and i don't use any extensions at the moment i'm trying to grow back my natural lashes they were always quite good before but after uh, a few years of on and off extension work of course they become shorter and not as curly I'm almost done I will just use a final step of my glow stick uh, it has a really pretty rose gold color um, I'll just show you on my hand it's a little bit like a blush but it has a also bronzish color and I like the texture it's creamy it's not sticky and you can 
literally use it anywhere. You can put a bit on your eyelids. Uh, what I usually do, I just, uh, because my face is small and a little more flat, just to create a bit more like volume, you want to highlight some of the things. So I do it a little bit on my chin, on my nose, on my cheekbones and sometimes here on the thing on the parts of your face that are sticking out and uh, don't forget to blend it through because <laughs> Uh, it might look a bit streaky if we don't. I think I had it before. And um, on one of my videos, I didn't blend it properly. It does look a bit odd. I'm done. I'm just gonna finish brushing my and uh, drying my hair, and I'm gonna put a little bit of lip color. Now I'm just gonna add some lip color, and I'm gonna use both products that I have. They're all new. Uh, this is my Chanel lipstick from the Rouge Coco Flash edition it's called live and um, it looks a little bit dark but when you put it on your lip i'm really sorry because my baby again played with this one it has this really dainty um, shimmering glow that i think just suits anyone and uh, especially if you're a uh, dark um, uh, tone like me um, I even gave this one to my grandmother and I think she loves it um, yeah I think I'm gonna keep it like this this product is also very lovely I'm not gonna use it today because um, I think I'm gonna be wearing a bit lighter colors when I use when I wear all black I try to use a bit brighter on my on my makeup and uh, this is really cute it smells great it's a little bit like the Benetint but I think it's a bit fancier and uh, I like the texture a bit more and um, okay I'm just gonna put it on top uh, it does get a bit of time to put it on properly without dots and sometimes I would rub my finger in it uh, and also another trick that I was using sometimes you can use it on your cheeks for uh, for the effect of the liquid liquid blusher I'm actually currently hunting on one and voila my makeup is done and if you want to check out some of the products I was using you can hit uh, on the links under this video and take a look but it's really minimal and effortless makeup that you can use every day and even for some special occasions bye